For this week's video, we're going to be looking at something a little bit different uh, than some of the other books that we've looked at so far, uh, in that this isn't really a grimoire or a historical text as much as a miniature art gallery or an art book. Um, this is uh, A Second Nature by Jose Gabriel Alguir. And uh, it's Eon Sophia Press is the, the publisher of this book. If you're not familiar with his artwork, and it may become more uh, recognizable here as we proceed, but he has um, some of his work in Anathema Publishing's books. And um, that's probably where you'll recognize some of these pieces and the art style in general. Uh, they also had some of those made as canvas prints, so I've got a few of those in my office as well, um, just because I like the artwork so much. There's a lot of really good occult artists, and he is my favorite, uh, or second favorite, depending on the day. It does open up with some text to give you some background, including um, angels or manifestations, the, be the beheld, and then it goes into some other topics that are crucial to his, his work and his art style. Some common symbols that you would see, symbols of transformation like the cup, the dragon, and then other symbols of transcendence, the sun, and so forth. You see some common historical examples, and then it gets into some of the, the work that he has done. It is a combination of photography that you're seeing here. And then a majority of this book is going to be uh, his actual art that he has, has drawn himself, which is really what shines through, in my opinion. Some of these are single pages. Some of them are uh, taking up both pages. Some of them are simple, well I say simple, but uh, black and white or grayscale in color. And some are um, using reds or other, other color tones as well. You can see here's two images with varying colors. That's one that's seen quite a bit in other places. Of course, the only downside is when you make art like this that's so well made, uh, there's a lot of people out there on the internet that don't really respect art or trademarks or copyrights or anything like that. And they'll just repost it places, often not giving credit. This is one of my one of my favorites. And you can really see just the the level of detail that goes into this work. And it's a pretty big uh, book as well, so it's kind of hard to to handle here. This is another more common one that you might have seen. I really like this one here, just the surrealism of the the hand and the fingers, the, the veins and the opening of the arm. It's really just really breathtaking the amount of, of detail that's put into these. That's probably my, my favorite in this book. Just the use of red in a largely grayscale image. Um, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely stunning. I, I take this off my shelf and just kind of get lost in the images. And um, 
I believe they actually just sold or they're getting close to selling out of the the last copies available on their website. Uh, I think I think when I bought this it was 80 plus shipping US dollars because of course they're uh, overseas from where I'm at. And um, I think I've seen it going for $100 in recent weeks so it seems to be going up in price and um, again you can't really get readily get his art as it is so having it in this book format uh, so you can appreciate it anytime you want is, is very beneficial in my opinion. I think there's a lot of information that can be transmitted by images alone. It doesn't have to be written text, although as we looked at a second ago it does have some introductory thoughts. Uh, if, you do see this, if, if you do see this, I highly recommend picking it up, um, even if it's a, something as a coffee table piece that you could have for people to look through. Obviously it's not going to be everyone's taste, uh, but neither is the subject matter of this channel. So thanks for watching and have a good day.